and wait for people to come to my stream. I'm on my way back from Las Vegas to San Diego. Oh shit, but I unplugged my phone and my phone was telling me where to go. So get ready for an experience of trying to use a car's navigation system. Yeah, let's go there. Oh, okay, it's doing something. It wasn't actually bad. Start guidance, I love guidance. Please proceed to the highlight. Oh my god, but shut up. Uh, yeah, stop. that's the shut up button. Alright, good. Perfect. Uh by the way, if you guys are looking for, you know, a song recommendation, uh 929 by Halsey. Unbelievable. Uh you know. I stared at the sky in Milwaukee and hoped that my father would finally call me. <laughs> it's just this unbelievable. Um, there's a there's a few a few other uh, lines in that song. Um, they say, "Don't meet your heroes; they're all fucking weirdos." And Lord knows that they were right. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, you know that's good advice. Wait, I don't actually know if this stream is working because there's nobody in the chat room. So this might be a fake stream. Who am I? I'm only 25. I just been listening to that song on repeat, guys. Um, let's engage up here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it just takes time. If anyone's there and you're just saying silent for some reason, I applaud your incredible ability to coordinate in a decentralized manner and think that those are the skills we're going to need for the revolution. Uh, so, you know, they're good skills to have. Um, so basically, have you guys ever seen an infomercial? And this thing is kind of just gonna be an infomercial for common devices. Uh, look at it. Just, just you're gonna watch the device drive the whole time. It's it's beautiful, um, and partially that's just because that's what we're doing with this stream. But it's also partially because yeah, I don't think this stream is working. Otherwise, there'd be people uh, in the uh, in the chat. Oh, 25 viewers. Okay, so something is working. I don't know. How come there's no chat? Uh, yeah. So it's just an infomercial for for the common device. You can watch it drive. Uh, for hours and you know ask yourself the question why have you not bought a comma 2 yet um, you know you can go to comma.ai slash shop and you can purchase one of these and put it in your very own car uh, oh yeah finally we got a chatter yo that's somebody oh chat is working I bet you it's subscriber only chat and I don't know if we're going to be able to turn that off. So, uh, guys, I guess there's only one option, and that's for you to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Woo! Woo, that's, that's, a, that's a, we're going to dab on the haters, right? Who remembers Logan Paul, dab on the haters? It's great to have you all here with me. We're on our way back from Las Vegas, and I had a big win in Las Vegas. Big win. We're coming back. Big win. A M C. I got in yesterday and I'm not distracted. Oh, it's because my phone is in the path of uh, the driver monitor and camera. Uh, big win on AMC. That was the right horse to bet on. Uh, today, AMC pumped. Uh, and, you know, I'm not going to, guys, you know what? I'm just going to say this that I'm probably lying right now but never sell always hodl and always you know you'll always just make more money right if everybody could just get behind this is definitely true about crypto you know I mean I'm a no coiner but if you're gonna buy crypto here's the following investment strategy oh my god this is I, I don't understand what the fuck I'm supposed to do here oh wait I kind of do okay let's see um oh guys 929 by Halsey uh, I wasn't in love then and I'm still not now and I'm so glad I figured that out Ooh, it's just it's so good don't meet your heroes they're all fucking weirdos and God knows they were right uh, I, 
right, is this the exit? You know, we need that navigate on open pilot, navigate on open pilot. But the main things that we're shilling for are, are look, you know what I talked about in the Comet AI meeting? We should have live streamed this week's Comet AI meeting. I think it was in a program meeting. I'm giving it a little nudge to the right here. Uh, soon you're going to be able to use the blinker to do that. The feature is called Keeps Coming Soon, not an open pilot 082. I'm on 082 right now. It's got new MPC. New MPC adds a cost to the yaw of the car. It's so good. Uh, now, I don't have a lead car, so it's going to take this turn way too fast. Yeah, we need that slowdown for turns, too. Coming soon, boys. Coming soon. Right, we're going to zip past these cars. Open pilot's driving right now. Uh, we're going a little fast, but not too fast. I mean, if it's within the torque limit, you know, I feel more comfortable going 55, but I got a wide shoulder, so we're good. Ooh. Ooh, no. No. Traffic. No. I disengaged. I probably didn't have to, but, you know, I could see that traffic coming. No, there's traffic. No. We're near L.A. I guess when you're near LA, you just get traffic. Um, no, traffic. I hate traffic. All right. Oh, okay. well, yeah, yeah, we need cutting detection, right? Well, unfortunately, I'm chilling here in my 2020 Hyundai Sonata. While it does have incredible lateral control, uh, the longitudinal is in control of the Hyundai. And, uh, you know, this needs to change. I think with Open Pilot's new cutting detection in the 08 series, it's actually better. Um, yeah. All right, well, you know what? Fuck these people. Uh, guys, don't do this. Drive like a... Don't ever cut people off. This is terrible. You know, you should never you should never stay in this exit lane uh, for way too long to get ahead of the traffic and then cross this double white line. You know, it's pretty terrible, but, you know, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, yo, I'm not going to be like, like, who is that guy? Afro Man or Afro Duck? Yo, guys, look up Afro Duck. Afro Duck's a wild story. Uh, you actually can get tickets and get in trouble for things that you post on YouTube. He set the record for a lap around Manhattan, but Afrodoc also, my understanding is, and if I got the story wrong, I got the story wrong, correct my misconception, but he like ran away to Canada or something instead of, you know, being like, bro, no one got hurt, fuck with me, uh, which Afrodoc totally could have done, and you know, it's easier than like running away to Canada, like Justin Trudeau. Um... I don't know if he ran away to Canada. He might have been born there. He probably was. All right, cool. Geo, hurry up and chill your meme stonks. You know what, guys? I'm out of the meme stonks game. Uh, I made I made bank yesterday <laughs> on AM fucking C. Yo, get your movies. You guys want to hear the real joke about AMC? So people bought AMC because they thought there was going to be a short squeeze on AMC. This is get ready. This is my mad, mad money, Jim Cramer shit. Um, they thought there was going to be a short squeeze on AMC, but the actual over shorted stock was AMC X, which was AMC networks. Uh, so this had nothing. There's no short, there's no real short pressure on AMC. Um, AMC apparently also, uh, you know, minted new coin today. Uh, which good on AMC, suck up all that retail fish action. But the trick, if you want to make money on AMC, was to buy yesterday and sell today. Uh, now, if your stock market trading app didn't come with a buy yesterday button, uh, you know, mine doesn't either. And, you know, we can all, a man can dream, right? Um, wait, it went up to 2170? Shit. I just put in a whole bunch of limit orders, just, you know, some of them probably executed, some of them probably didn't. If I micromanage it too much, you know, let me tell you something. The closest I ever came to smoking crack was trading Bitcoins with 100x leverage on BitMEX. Uh, BitMEX RIP. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't meet your heroes. They're all fucking weirdos and Lord knows that they were right. Oh, GME pump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, GME, actually, there was short pressure, and I really hope... You know I love to see money flow from the institutions back to the people, but, uh, you know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm going to provide some real value to you guys. Get ready for market analysis. Um, so, 
what these things are are, are kind of like mini Ponzi schemes, right? They're mini Ponzi schemes, and um, you know, <laughs> um, I uh, you know, I I heard it, I heard it. A joke yesterday. We'll change it a little to make it appropriate for the Twitch stream. Um, the the dumb investor hears that something is a Ponzi scheme and says, uh, "That is bad. I don't get involved with Ponzi schemes." The smart investor, when they hear something is a Ponzi scheme, asks the following question: "How late am I?" Um, if you get into Ponzi's early, uh, you get rich. Uh, if you get into Ponzi's late. You're the bag holder that everybody's dumping into, so make sure to get into Ponzi's uh, early. Um, <laughs> of course, don't actually do any Ponzi schemes. All this advice is only in Minecraft or whatever. So, yo, that's that's real, real, real madman money advice. Yo, DeFi man, let's cut the boomers out of the money and let's have money taken over by the meme lords uh, of the internet. You know, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of. Um, decentralized finance but I'm also a no coiner so you know there's that diamond ponzi yo all diamonds are going to be worthless because synthetic diamonds are going to be better cheaper faster smoother harder better faster stronger that's what I was thinking about um all right what do I do oh no I gotta go over there oh no we gotta go over there all right hang on boys we're going over there Uh, see, yeah, you know, I don't know. I'd be freaked out if my car did an actual automatic lane change that wasn't, like, user-initiated. Uh, I was freaked out when the Teslas were doing it. But someday we will get there, and someday it will make lane changes better than a human. Oh, yeah, so the theme of this stream is, like I said, you are here with the George Hotz infomercial for Comma Devices. You're just watching a Comma Device drive. If you put some chill, lo-fi, hip-hop music on here, check out the automatic lane change. Um, if you put some uh, chill, lo-fi, hip-hop beats to this, this would be an incredibly relaxing video. But you know, if you put me on it, maybe it's a little uh, you know, edge of your seat. You guys always think I'm on Adderall, man. You know, you always think that. Um, you know, I've taken Adderall, and when I take Adderall, I'm actually more calm. Uh, so there's that. Maybe I really have ADD. Nah, you can't have ADD if you don't believe in it. That's right. That's right. Big brain, big brain. <laughs> oh, a shaky but chill lo-fi vibe, right? No, I think you'd want to put the stabilizer on. You'd probably just want to loop a 10-second part of it, you know? That repetitiveness, it's a... Uh... It's a metaphor for life. Um, you know, for some reason I feel that when I put you guys on the stream, it becomes more socially acceptable to talk to myself, and that's kind of why I'm doing it. I'm able to see chat. Yeah, 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 I'm looking over. Occasionally, safely. Uh, you know, I could look at chat more if we were in a more chill area. So, you know, guys, the driver monitoring and... Uh, is adaptive to like right here there's a lot of cars around so like you know you have less time to react but if you're in the middle lane on a highway and you are the only car around that's what's going to get to level three first you know hold the damn camera still i'm sorry you know it's hard it's hard yeah i should really get you know what i should get a phone holder Whoa, guys, 929 by Halsey. I quit smoking more recently. I tried. I bought another house and still never go outside. Oh, beautiful. Um, yo, and you know what? Just to bring you guys along on the adventure of my life, I'm looking into buying land. I've been looking into buying land recently. Uh, you know, I think that'd be kind of cool. We'll make a school for... Uh, for programming and life, like Plato, man. I think Plato did this shit. Plato's a cool guy. Earth to land, how much? Well, uh, let's just say more than my AMC gains will cover, but not that much more. Um. Okay, Kanye, yeah, yeah. I heard Kanye can't build on his land because it's home to some like, uh, you know, unlaid and swallow, and African or European, it doesn't matter, they're both fucking endangered. You can't build here, fuck you, Kanye West. 
Uh, and you know what? I say fuck Wyoming. I side with Kanye West for governor. Apparently Chamath's running for governor. I kind of like his platform. His platform is no taxes and lots of free shit. Uh, that's the candidate that I'll get behind, the no taxes, lots of free shit candidate. Uh, I think we all learned here in 2020 that there's a printer and it can print money. And like, why do we need to collect taxes if we can just print money, all right? See what I'm saying? But this, you gotta play some 4D chess here because you know, we wanna, we wanna accelerate the demise of the US dollar and replace it with alternative currencies that are by the people, for the people, and of the people. No, actually, it's just a world where engineers rule. And, you know, I think it'd be a better world than a world where politicians rule. But, you know, it's just not, you know, the problem is never, uh, every, every communist knows that you don't actually want to dismantle hierarchies. Every feminist knows this, too. Uh, you want to invert hierarchies. You want to place yourself at the top of hierarchies, right? That's just human nature. And now, you know, for people to say, no, but I want everyone to be equal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you say that because you're not at the top of the hierarchy, right? This is, again, human nature. And if it was not human nature, you'd be outcompeted by people who know that it is human nature and who's forcing the equality. It's the paradox of tolerance. Well, you'll know what I'm saying. All right, but coming back to the purpose of this stream, welcome to the infomercial. Right here, this device is a comma two. You can see the beautiful infrared LEDs on the bottom of it. I'm chilling. I'm leaning back a little in my chair. My Hyundai Sonata. I'm watching the road ready to take over at any time. I think of myself as an exception handler. If anything bad happens, I'm ready to take over, but... You know, things have been pretty smooth sailing. I got the plane on autopilot. Uh, I feel like a pilot, you know? I'm an autopilot, and this is just really... Tesla really nailed the name. Uh, but, you know, we're open pilot. It's open source software. MIT licensed, available on Comet AI. Now, uh, maybe here. Here's one of the memes. Wow, I'm really, I'm really uh, scatterbrained a little bit on this. And, you know, I don't even have chat to keep me unfocused. Um, uh, 929 by Halsey. Uh, I know how to write HTML. Um, oh, I got more screens than the next gen Model S. Yeah, I heard that came out. I haven't watched the video yet. I'm interested. You know, I hate when people tailgate. This way, Open Pilot doesn't tailgate. Yeah, go around me. Good. Yes, please go around me. Thank you. Open pilot auto bumper check, people. Um, yeah, it's a little low on frame rate. UI is not the highest priority process. UI does not run real time. Uh, we leave, like, controls in the model to run real time. Um, yeah, it was that truck. Get off my ass. You know, I hate that. You shine your bright ass lights into my car. Uh, what did I think of the funny incident that happened this weekend with Wall Street Bets? Yo, I made bank. I bought AMC yesterday, you know? <laughs> um, by the way, none of my shit stock trading advice, SEC. I'm your friend, man. I'm your friend. I didn't do any illegal ICOs. Go after Ripple. Fuck Ripple, right? Hey, fuck Ripple. No, seriously, though. Um, <laughs> now I can buy that expensive DNA printer, yo. Um, no, they wouldn't sell me the DNA printer. Fuck uh, Ox Nanopore Technologies. I emailed all their executives. They wouldn't sell it to me. They charged my credit card and then refused to sell it to me. Uh, please tell me what company or institution you're affiliated with. You know, you fucking gatekeepers in bio, man. Oh, that, this isn't a bio stream, though. Um, fuck Oxpor Nanotechnologies. Uh, they wouldn't sell me the thing. I emailed all their people. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Uh, and they took my money. They charged my credit card. And then, like, four days later, I got a, oh, we're not going to ship your order until you give us more information. And I'm like, yo, I'm just a bro who wants to sequence DNA, which is true. I'm not trying to, like, 
like, like, like, like, steal their technology or like use it to like, I'm gonna like shove a tomato in there and be like, oh look, it says tomato. Oh, I'm so happy I'm doing biology. That's literally all I wanted to do and these fuckers deprive me of my joy. So that's how I feel about Oxpor nanotechnologies. And I'm gonna buy a, you can buy old aluminum machines on eBay for like the same price. I can buy a DNA sequencer that was $700,000 10 years ago for like $1,500. It has a super cool, oh, also, wow, I'm really, I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped. Um, we're going to calm a little bit. Also, I got a microscope and I started looking at shit under the microscope. There's bacteria everywhere and you can see them under a light microscope. They look like little things and they're everywhere. Uh, like I, you know, spit on a microscope slide and just like look at it. Uh, it's wild. And Julia is better than PyTorch. Bullshit. You know how I should have switched to known. You gotta switch to PyTorch sooner. Um, you gotta switch to PyTorch sooner because that is what all of the papers switch to. Follow the papers. When most of the papers come out are using Julia. We'll switch to Julia. Now, nah, but PyTorch is. TensorFlow is a framework, and fuck frameworks, you want libraries, and PyTorch is a library. Where am I driving this fast? Speed limit 65, well, 68. Uh, those people are passing me, we're going a little faster. That's right, I'm a pilot, just adjusting the, the knobs. Oh, I'm getting passed up in the right lane. All right, we really do got to go faster. AG has a hardware limitation and a software limitation. They go pretty much in lockstep. Software is a little bit faster than hardware, but all right. The point of the stream. Calm, big brain, thoughts. Uh, look, guys. Open Pilot is... I think one of the most incredible things in the last couple of years, um, in, in the way that it has actually uh, changed my life. For example, I would have flown to Vegas this weekend if I had to drive. Uh, with this, I drive to Vegas, right? Now, you know, you look at it and you're like, it's a phone in a 3D printed case. I know, I know, I know. We're working to change that. Um, and we're looking to hire people. Uh, we're looking to hire people who can help us change that. We're looking to hire people. How do we take comma from where it is now to a million people, to a million users, right? I don't think like that. Right? A lot of startups, they think like that. A lot of startups, that's their first thoughts. My first thoughts are, let's build something that works really well. Uh, I didn't have, I don't believe I had a single forced disengagement. Uh, on my drive over um, whereas like the car would have done something catastrophic had I not intervened uh, there were plenty of unforced disengagements you actually saw some in the video but um, yeah, we're hiring we're hiring a whole uh, sort of diverse array of people uh, we're going to update the common jobs page to include a lot more roles uh, we're also going to probably uh, raise some money this year it's time to it's time to think about how to scale this up. Uh, we support most new vehicles sold, and it's I mean life changing is a lofty word, right? How life changing is I think I'd say let's say it's less life changing than Uber, but more life changing than AirPods, right? So like Uber was a whole new way of thinking about things. Uber, Lyft, that whole that whole thing was like a it was a lifestyle shift, right? Like it changed the way that I did some things in my life. Um, whereas AirPods are great headphones, and they like sort of changed the way I did some things too. But I don't think I think Open Pilot's somewhere in between there. Uh, now of course uh, AirPods sold uh, you know many 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 units. Um, so yeah, you know, we, we, we grow comma to sell uh, a million devices a year. We are comfortably a $10 billion company. A uh, million devices a year, $1,000 a device. That's a uh, billion in revenue. 10x revenue multiple is maybe even laughably small. Mobile I sold for 42x uh, their revenue. Um, so 
here's what I don't want, right? And I'm gonna, I'm going to make it a little bit more open. Here's here, like, we want people who are going to help us get to one million uh, of these things sold. Here's what I don't want. Look, small-brained MBA bullshit. Anybody who ever writes in an email, I will come and work for you for free. Why the fuck would I want you to work for me? You are not asking to work for me. You're asking for me to educate you for free. And the way that education works is if you want to be educated, you pay me, right? Like, you know, education is not... You're not not working for me for free. Stop that. And then also, right away when I see that, I'm like, you're a fucking liar who doesn't speak the truth, right? And, you know, you got to speak the truth if you want to work at Comma. I hate liars. I hate liars. Oh, we got got no place in the world for liars anymore, right? And some people, I'm not even, I don't even think they're aware they're doing it. I don't even think they're aware they're doing it. But, like, I just, you know, they say something and I'm like, but what does that mean? And they have, like, no fucking idea. And I'm like, what's inside your head? I feel like you're lying to me, right? So I don't want any of that shit. But we are kind of to the point where we have to recognize there are definitely other talents besides straight up software engineering. Think about it like this. If you are trying to build a hard drive that is, you know, five terabytes. Well, you don't have to build it, you just buy it on Amazon. If you're trying to build a hard drive that's 100 terabytes, okay, maybe you have to build it. Maybe, you know, you want the 100 terabyte hard drive. You got to put a bunch of, uh, you know, you probably put enough hard drives in a single machine. You want a one petabyte hard drive. Okay, I got like 10 machines scattered around my floor connected with a 10 gigabit switch. Great, I got a, I got a, I got a petabyte hard drive. But what if I want to build an exabyte hard drive, right? Think about the skills required to build an exabyte hard drive. They're not all software engineering. At some point, where am I putting this thing? Do I need to know how to drive a bulldozer and lay a concrete foundation, right? Um, we are definitely looking for software engineers. You know, I was just SSHing into this thing today to change branches. Oh my God, I, I posted in our internal Slack channel a whole rant about how, like, first off, I had to set up the tethering and I didn't know what the password was, so I had to change the password to the tethering. And then I had to, you know, connect my computer to it. And then I had to figure out what IP subnet it was on. For some reason, it's on subnet 43. I guessed 43.1. I had to know that SSH was actually on port 8022 on the device and not 22. Uh, Then I had to, good thing I had OpenPilot cloned on my laptop. So I had the key so I could SSH in. And then it was on a release branch, so it was shallow. So, you know, you got to like get branch, add, remote, origin, master CI, get check out master CI. It was just, it was terrible. It was terrible. And we need people who are going to improve that experience. Right? Um, no, uh, you know, look, some companies have structures in place where they're designed to tolerate you know, maybe educating employees more. I'm not doing that. It's not, I say this all the time, like it's not my job to educate you, right? Present something coherent and I'm interested, right? Like, you know, Comma's mission is to solve self-driving cars while delivering ship of intermediaries, and that is absolutely our mission, and, you know, everything else is secondary to that mission. But, like, you know, uh, I, I give this quote all the time on my streams, you know, L.A. told me you'd be a pop star, all you have to change is everything you are. Uh, and I'm not going to do that Pink had a successful career without doing that. Uh, you know, I'm never gonna fucking sell out. Uh, yeah. But then, you know, okay, I could talk about, oh, the mission, you know, my personal is to change culture. It's like, then I get people who are like culture warriors and like, you wanna like, oh, talk about culture. I don't wanna talk about fucking culture. I wanna talk about how to actually make this device better, easier to use and ship it to millions of people, right? That's what I'm interested in. People who sit around and talk about how to change culture are not changing culture. You know, armchair anarchists, right? 
Um, how much experience do I look for? I don't care. I don't care. Like, if you're asking me for something like, well, I want you to have three years of industry experience. No, I'm gonna talk to you. Do you know everything? Right, like know everything. I mean, there's things you don't know. You're not obviously gonna know everything, everything, but I'm gonna ask you simple questions. Like what's the difference between kernel and user space? You know, like you should know that. Right, I'm gonna ask you like, you know, what's DNS? People are like, well, DNS is domain name server. Okay, what port is it on? Right, and it's like 53 and like people don't know that, but like you could say like, oh, but that's a useless piece of trivia. Yeah, but if you have exposure to all the right stuff, you'll know all the useless trivia. Right? Nobody who ever got good at anything did it by studying DNS port 53. What, you got like a fucking flashcard? You know, got that Anki learning system? No. You just know that. Right? Because you spent some time in Wireshark. Uh, yeah. You know. We have an executive team at Common now. We have executives executives uh, guys are going to interview with them you know can I do this no this is my I, I got to recognize my own limitations right now yeah, I'm, I'm here I'm here to scream if anything looks like selling out you guys know I hate selling out you guys know that I care so much about not selling out that I would die to not sell out we'll talk uh, I would die to not sell out and if I'm willing to die I'm certainly willing to lose everything I have you know, certainly willing to lose any any money I might have, any any niceties I might have, right? Like like before, willing to die. You know, you got to be willing to live, and I'm willing to live through complete and total bullshit to not sell out. Because what's the point? What's the point? You know, what's the point of life if you're gonna sell out, right? And everyone, everyone, you know, everyone has their own stupid ways of justifying it to themselves, right? They justify selling out. Oh, I should have done this. I should have rolled with that guy. Oh my God, my rent's high. Wow, I should have realized, Hobson. Uh, yeah, people justify it to themselves. And then one day you wake up and you're like, what is it all for? Uh, yeah. I think I figured it out real early. Uh, no, no, I don't, no, 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 I don't got any new raps that are complete enough for me to do, but you check out my new rap uh, on my SoundCloud, is not called The Civil War because people were civil. I don't really know why it is called The Civil War, that's a, that's a good question. I do know why it was called The Cold War, though, it's because Russia was cold. Uh, oh, short selling, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> so, so... I saw a meme and it was like a person in tears from a Melvin Capital. And like, I thought, I thought they were like, I thought it was like making fun of like the Melvins, you know? Like what is a Melvin? Like you think of a Melvin as like a, like a, like a soup, right? And I thought it was a meme and I thought this, I, this was just hilarious. It was hilarious that like, like, you know, the meme chose the name Melvin. And then I found out that the company, that the, the hedge fund short in GameStop was actually called Melvin Capital. <laughs> I mean, you know, were they self-aware? Uh, Melvin Capital, wow. Um, don't meet your heroes, they're all fucking weirdos and God knows that they were right. Melvin! <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm gonna do on Friday? Maybe I'll live stream it. Set up a Roth IRA. This is the first time I've ever day traded and got them short-term cap gains. So I gotta set up some, some tax structuring like the rich people do it, you know? So maybe, maybe I'll live stream, I'll live stream financed. <laughs> uh, what do I think about Luminar? Oh God. Guys. Every SPAC I have ever seen is a scam. No legitimate company would do a SPAC. Uh, <laughs> no, but I love, I love, I love Wall Street Bets, big brain shit. It kind of seems like in a weird way, like the mob is aligned more with reality than like, the wall, like Wall Street, right? It's these mob of people who are, just, you know, I saw, I saw a great like the way the cash flow is happening. It's like it's going from 
on it's going from people who take finance seriously to people who do finance for the lulls. And I definitely want people doing finance for the lulls to have funding. And the people who take finance seriously, fuck them. And then maybe maybe you can even extend that to life. Like the people who take life like really seriously, like, well I want to retire by the time I'm 65 with my IRA and my social security payments and dude. Yeah, you're going to be trapped in that boomer mindset forever. Um, and you know, look, 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 look. While this is still, while this is still, uh, you know, acceptable, before the boomers really start to, you know, realize the boomer sentiment, right? You know, guys, like being racist is dumb. Um, but hating on boomers. And look, it's not the individual boomer, right? Like, it's not, it's not each and every boomer. That's the problem, right? Like, my parents are boomers. I love my parents. They're not the boomers who are the problem. But I am talking about the boomers. I'm not distracted. Yeah, it's because I'm holding the phone there. Um, it's because I'm holding... Uh, it's because the boomers hold all the money, right? And, you know, they don't want to pass it on. You know, they don't die. So, yeah, boomers, man. And, look, I'm, I'm all for... You know what we got to do? You know what we gotta do with boomers? Like, be nice to boomers, everybody. I'm not saying be mean to boomers. But we gotta, like, disrupt boomers. Disrupt boomers. Yeah, disrupt boomers. I, I like that, I like that. Disrupt boomers. Hey, on boomers who build most of our infrastructure. You mean our decrepit, shitty infrastructure where we can't build a new nuclear power plant because, you know, all those people died in Three Mile Island? Oh, wait, nobody died. Um, you know. And they did, right? I'm not, I'm not hating on, like, what the boomers did in the past, but, like, it's time to pass the reins on. <laughs> Learn to code. Yo, yo. That was the funniest shit. That was the funniest shit. When, like, that was like a meme. Like, the journalists would write all the articles about, like, learn to code. And then these journalists would lose their job. And people would tweet at them, learn to code. And they, like, freaked out about it. Like, it was some, like, secret hate group. <laughs> no. No, it's just called condescension, man. It's the same fucking condescension that they put into all their BuzzFeed articles turned back at them. And, oh, shit, they don't like it? Well, how do you think the rest of us feel? Wow. Big brain shit. Big brain shit. Um, no, 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 no. All right, all right. right maybe, that, maybe I'm too harsh on boomers. Maybe I'm too harsh on boomers. But um, you know what I'm never too harsh on? The fact that all the money is a scam today, right? The money used to be backed by gold. Now the money is backed by nothing. And this didn't happen a thousand years ago. It happened like 50. There were people alive when the money was still real. It became fake in the last 50 years. And then they're like, oh, but but we have all of these. Oh, don't you remember the great housing crisis of 2000? Yeah, because the money's fake. Real money. Burr, money printer go burr. Keynesian economics. <laughs> Big brain shit. Throw throw money out of helicopters. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, like, like I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not one of those people who advocates like, oh, we have to go back to the gold standard, right? Uh, I think the gold standard is 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 perhaps even more ridiculous. Um, but you know, we do need better transparent monetary systems and wow there's a whole industry of people building them and they're amazing DeFi bros DeFi the DeFi pump will last long after the AMC pump is the you know AMC is the new blockbuster video who I hear also pumped um <laughs> get Bitcoin to less than 1k. I don't think that's going to happen. I think less than 10k might be possible. Less than 1k would shock me. Ever. Just replace the Fed with a computer. Exactly. Yo, that's even... You know, I, you know I want engineers to run the world, but really? What if... 
like like technical systems around the world. Should money be backed by the jewel? Like jewel pods? Communists advocate for the abolition of money. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, hey guys, guys, you want to live in a communist country? Uh, there's there's plenty to choose from. I don't, I don't, like you know, you can make America into a communist country, and all that's gonna mean is that I move out of America, right? I'm not, I'm not really, you know, I'm not a communist guy. But hey, you know, let the communists have their shit, and like, you know, the, 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 the reborn from the ashes and all that, right? Let them. <laughs> um, how much of my liquid net worth is in crypto? Zero, because I am no coiner. No coiner. That's right. Communism has been tried and failed every time. That's right, but so has capitalism. It just hasn't failed yet. We need a newism. Lulzism. Lulzism. Uh, you know, maybe there is some real truth to like lulzism though. It's like like keep the world, you know, don't let the world fall into shitty state systems. Keep the world interesting. My terminal value is narrative, you know. Um as long as they're telling me good stories, I'm, I'm, I'm down. I like this whole thing, right? Narrative value. Welcome to postmodernism. You can't put the postmodernism genie back in the box. I'm almost home. Sweet. I'm almost home. We need an economy based on carbon dioxide pellets. <laughs> no, you don't want carbon dioxide pellets, carbon dioxide. I've been reading molecular biology of the cell, and carbon dioxide is low energy shit. Low energy shit. You know, some high energy shit like ATP. That's some high energy shit. ATP pellets. Sugar pellets. Oh, wait, that's already kind of. Our economy moved away from sugar pellets, and that's the problem. Food became too easy to produce. <laughs> yo, 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 big brain shit. What if we genetically modified humans instead of needing 2,000 calories a day to need 200,000 calories a day and then making food is hard again? Yeah, that might fix the world. I listened to, I listened to the first couple chapters of Ready Player Two. And they talk about a declining world. Well, yeah, because all difficulty in the future has to be artificial. Sign up for Urbit today. Mm. That will fix the economy. All right. Now we have a lot less cars around. I can read some chat. We'll read some chat. And then uh, I got to go. Because I'm almost home. I think. Calories are a flawed measurement. Yeah, I've been reading Dune as well, like a rackus, like water. Sounding like the Unabomber. Why? Because I advocate for the love of wild nature. If that makes you like the Unabomber, then there's a Unabomber in all of us. Actually, it's on my blog. I wrote a thing. I mentioned the Unabomber in my, my last blog post. It's not that well thought out, but... Um, you know, one thing, there's one part of the manifesto, there's, there's, there's one, and he's self-aware about it too, which I appreciate, uh, but there's like one paragraph where he says, you know, he advocates the collapse of industrial technology society, and uh, then he says, well, let's make it collapse, and then what are you going to replace it with? Oh, well, that's other people's problem. Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, he has some ideas about what to replace it with, but then like, the question is more like, but what if the industrial technology society comes back, as it's going to do? And he says, that's other people's problem. That's, 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 that's my main problem with the manifesto. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to fuck biotech, man. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about when Oxpor Nanotech, you know, they're a shitty company, and they wouldn't sell me my product even after taking my money. Like, why would you take my money and then not sell me the product? I don't get it. Do not make money on the product? If you don't make money on the product, why do you sell the product? 
you put it on a website, I clicked buy, and I expected it to be shipped to me, and you sent me a, what are you going to do with it, and who are you affiliated with? Why do you care? Um, so yeah, no, I was thinking about how I comment AI bio. Oh, we could do it. We could do it. See, what you really want to build is a DNA sequencer and a DNA synthesizer that is itself bootstrapped through biotech. Like... 3D printers are limited. I, mean, I think I was talking about this. 3D printers are very limited in what they can print because it's made out of plastic. How many things are just made out of plastic? Only like little doohickeys, you know? Little, 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 little trinkets and, you know, little useless shits can be 3D printed, right? But you can't make something useful just out of plastic. Maybe you can replace a part, but it's still usually a part of a whole, right? Um, but DNA, shit, I'm made out of DNA, right? biotech I want to I want to you know I, I'm buying land and I want to like like build a house on my land but imagine my house just grew out of the land make some DNA be like grow a house from sunlight and then I'm like shit you know that's already a tree but the only problem with trees is that they're not house shaped so what if you could figure out how to make house shaped trees how sick would that be you plant it you wait five years and a house grew That'd be the coolest shit. Yo, I just thought about that now. But this, what do you guys think of that idea, right? It's like a tree, but instead of growing into something tree-shaped, it grows into something house-shaped that you can live in. Yo, that'd be sick. I'm going to solve the housing crisis. I'm going to be Johnny House Seed. It's like Johnny Appleseed, but I'm just going to go throw lots of house seeds around in the country, and I'm going to solve the housing crisis. It's like the gang solves the gas crisis, but it's Geohot solves the housing crisis, you know? Oh, yeah, with house seeds. Yeah. You had that idea 10 years ago? Well, I just fucking patented it, so it's my idea now because we're in a first-to-file system, bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, Jarvis, call up my patent attorney. I want you guys to patent a seed that grows into a house. A process for making houses out of seeds. Yeah. Yeah. And then I want you to troll people with the patent. And I want you to like try to use seed metaphorically and sue every construction company. And be like, well, the seed is the idea in your mind and you guys are violating our patent and you gotta pay me $10,000. Just imagine we got $10,000 for every house made in the country. We could be patent trolls, man. We could be rich and then I could live in the Bellagio Tower sweet shit. Yeah. Can't even book those Bellagio Tower sweet shits. You gotta, you gotta be a you know, big gambler. Big Bellagio gambler. Genetic engineering, super purposeful life, exactly. I want to live in a world teeming with life, biofluorescence. Yo, no, remember the glowing plant Kickstarter? And then they got GMO organisms banned from Kickstarter? But I want glowing plants. I was reading some papers. Some guys modified tobacco plants to glow. Guy's gonna glow. Mushroom houses, yeah! Yeah, Rivendale, you know? Real, real Lord of the Rings shit. Let's make them out of fungi. We can, we can transfect genetic fungi, everything. Comes with biofilter, you know? It's like a sick house. Yo, no, seriously though, house. Oh, people are going fast. We're going 70, all right, we can go faster. Let's go, 77. Am I okay? Yes. We're all having a good time. Red sky to blue lawn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just killing time. A million units. Sometimes I wonder if, you know, I think we've had the Am I Crazy talk before, and... You know, I get shit done. I function in society. I even shave my beard, you know? Crazy people never shave their beard. Right? They never do. When they do, they don't do a good job of it. Like, they miss a big spot. And you're like, yo, what is that, like, big clump of hair on your face? And they don't notice it because they're crazy. And I look in the mirror, I see my cleanly shaven face, and that's how I know I'm not crazy. Right, we're going to move over a little bit. We're, we're in a lane for people who really want to go way too fast. Being crazy is the opposite of a bubble. <laughs> I'm 
Would I get the Neuralink? No, but Ready Player Two was talking about a Neuralink without having to do any invasive brain surgery. Uh, I will get the Neuralink once a million people have gotten it, and I will go to Mars once there are five-star hotels there, and I will buy a Tesla once the experience is on par luxury-wise with a Mercedes S-Class. What man can shave his beard? 423 people. Mm. Yeah. This is a weird year. Weird year. You know, you guys can do this. It's a fun activity. We'd do it if we had a computer, of course, but we don't. Uh, open one window and go to Google Trends Coronavirus. Oh. There's no cops. It's chill. Chill. It's chill. We back. We back. No cops. Zero cops. Go to Google. <laughs> um, go to Google Trends. Bring up coronavirus in one window, like searches for coronavirus, and then bring up cases of coronavirus in the other window, and they are hilariously uncorrelated. Uh, you know, I just, it just, and I've been saying this from the beginning, I mean, you guys can look at my coronavirus song. They overreacted at the beginning, and then when there's a real problem, no one takes them seriously. It's a boy who cried wolf. You know, don't cry wolf. But we have to do everything we can. If one person dies, it's worth sacrificing. If we can save one person's life, it's worth sacrificing the whole economy. No, it's not. Right? And, like, I really hope that anybody who thinks like that never has any power. But, George, you're heartless. Of course you'd sacrifice just the economy. It's just money, and you can save a whole person's life. Yeah, think about that. Think about that, you know? You can even think about it in terms of lives. Right? I'm sure my hand's getting tired holding you guys. I need a, I need a phone holder. What's my qualms with con communism? <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> I've been to Russia. Yeah, I've been I've been to Russia. For some reason, I don't think it was better during the uh, the Soviet era. Oh, but that wasn't real communism. Real communism's never been tried. Real dictatorship's never been tried because I've never been the dictator. Have I seen Putin's house? Yeah, again, things look pretty good in communism if you know you're Putin. Huggers. Mm. Ah, 45 miles to San Diego. Uh, everyone who's still with us, to all 247 of you, listen to 929 by Halsey. It, I, it's just, it's, it's, it speaks to me. It feels like Halsey's speaking to me. Um, and uh, if she ever wants to hang out, Yo, I want to hang out with Halsey. I think I think we'd have a good time. Um, you know, I gotta set my sights a little lower than Taylor Swift. No offense, Halsey. Uh, by the way, no, nah, we're not gonna go there. We, we only say nice things on the stream, except about boomers. Which look, it's not the boomer individual. It's just boomers is like a, it's like a, it's like a meme that went on too long. Yeah. Well, how was your experience interning at Project Zero? Oh. God. I don't know what you expect me to say to things like that. Not no hate to Project Zero. My hate's to that question. About Zoomers. Are they based? Are Zoomers based? Hollywood celebrities, do they know things? Let's find out. What do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. Hollywood stars and celebrities, do they know things? Hollywood stars and celebrities, do they know things? Let's find out. Hollywood stars and celebrities, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. That's right. Uh, do I consider myself based? Uh, I don't really consider myself. Another great BoJack Horseman, like, exchange. BoJack's going to Diane and is like, Diane, 
you know, I do a lot of, we both know I do a lot of shitty stuff, you know, I'm like, I'm like, like, like bad, but like, you do believe that like deep down, I'm a good person, right? And, and Diane says, well, that's the thing, Bojack, I don't really believe in deep down. Man, I love that show. Would I sell my products to the Flat Earth Society? I'll sell my products to anyone who's willing to pay me the money for them. Unless they've pissed me off personally. If they've, like, offended me in a personal way, yeah, fuck them, you know? Elon does this. Like, yo, Elon doesn't sell me a Tesla. I don't blame him. I don't say fuck Tesla. Like, that's Elon's right. He can decide where he is in his beef with me. But Ox Poor Now Attack, who, after taking my money... Tesla didn't take my money, by the way. Tesla just canceled my order before they took my money. Oxpor Nanotech took my money, waited four days, and then said, nah, we're not going to sell it to you. So fuck them, and we're going to disrupt biology, and when we do, we're going to laugh about them the same way we're going to laugh about Waymo and Cruz. Everyone does know that, like, Waymo and Cruz are over, right? Like, I, think, I think the world's kind of caught on to that, right? The future is AMC and GameStop. Thank you all for watching my stream. I think that's a great thing to end it on. The future is AMC and GameStop. This is not stock market advice. No, honestly, like, I don't know if the stocks are going to go up or down tomorrow. I've lost the ability to predict it. But if you do follow me on Instagram, at George Hotz, uh, I have a blue check mark. Uh, and if you guys took my stock advice yesterday, well, let's just say um, you'd be rich today. And by rich, I mean, eh, you were probably about 2 x Thank you for gifting subs. Uh, Stuke53, since you gifted subs, uh, well, remind me next time that you get one question answered, even if it's something like, when's the last time I had sex? We can even ask personal questions, because you're a great person. You've not just been a subscriber yourself but you've passed the being a subscriber on to other people and and i appreciate that uh from the bottom of my influencer heart thank you thank you all for watching my stream the name of the stream is a million devices because our goal at comma is to ship one million devices and if you think you can help with that email jobs at comma.ai check out our job postings page but even if it's a little bit more outside the box like look you know i was i worked at oculus when they shipped their first consumer product here's what i did there here's what i think i can do for you i'm interested i'll hear you out um or you know our our executive team will is, can i be trusted with everything no i cannot there's much i cannot do i am self-aware enough to know my own limitations can i run a multi-billion dollar company nah but i can oversee it and veto selling out bullshit because i would rather die than sell out uh we're also thinking of raising money very preliminary but if you are interested and you're an accredited investor and you're looking to invest two million or more dollars invest at comma.ai invest at comma.ai okay thank you all for watching today's lovely stream we're not selling out we're not selling out boys when I say, you know, investors, you can invest in getting this device to millions of people. Hey, you know, if you're not value aligned with that, I'm not going to let you invest. But if you are, more power to you. Let's all get rich and win in our own ways, not in the boomer economy. In our new economy based on smiles. No, not smiles. How about uh, cryptocurrency? Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Yes. Yes, cryptocurrency, that's the word I was looking for. DeFi is the future, boys. Never forget it. Don't let any old finance people tell you otherwise. DeFi is the future. You are the future. Unless you don't have any skills, then you're not the future, and I feel bad for you. But if you have skills and you get what's going on, you're the future. Yeah, hype up shit. All right. All right, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching my stream. Bye-bye.